Okay, now moving on. Well, it's one thing when your cat or dog goes mm -hmm. missing, but what about your tarantula? Apparently, there's actually one on the loose in Brooklyn. Right, allegedly. Its owner says it's pregnant as well. Matt King tries to find out, is this real or a hoax? You could scoop them up. You could put them on your body. You could put them on your face. Marcy Sanchez once owned a tarantula. We have a couple of customers come in, uh, buy crickets, sometimes even small mice. And um, to feed them. Now, Marcy manages a pet store in a neighborhood where the internet says someone posted flyers announcing their pregnant Mexican red rump tarantula named Penelope escaped. We would go hunting for it and we would probably cry a lot. <laughs> they better find it. This is a hipster neighborhood, and that sounds like a kind of a young, fun, edgy. Not a real thing. We drove all over this neighborhood and we found that poster nowhere. Everyone to whom we spoke knew of the missing arachnid, but saw the flyer online. The creepy news, if this turns out not to be a hoax, Penelope might actually stand a decent chance of surviving in the wild. The spider that's actually loose is a borrower, so he's going to borrow into the ground. So, I mean, I mean, there's a possibility he might be able to survive. Marcy envisions Penelope killing and then feasting upon crickets and roaches, mice and small birds. These streets provide for her a relative smorgasbord. We're not worried, right? We like spiders, right? The itsy bitsy spider? Not that itsy bitsy. From leg to leg, a tarantula can grow up to a foot in length. Tarantula not too thrilled with it. Thankfully, even though poisonous and hairy and eight-legged, no record exists of a tarantula ever killing a human. But New York still forbids the selling and keeping of these carnivorous predator nocturnal spiders within city limits. A full moon rises, and an illegal pregnant tarantula hunts in Brooklyn. Just great. In South Slope, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.